This week, the SD Association added, announced that it has added wireless communication to SD cards. So what you're essentially doing is making your cameras and video cameras wireless like the rest of the devices in your life. So by adding a wireless LAN SD card to your camera or video camera, you can now transfer pictures without cables and without removing a card and transferring it physically. You can transfer to other wireless devices or with a hotspot or internet access point, you can upload those images to the cloud. And so Toshiba right now is the only manufacturer that's actually showing product, but of course, hopefully down the road, everyone else will jump on the bandwagon. That's obviously the idea here, but Toshiba's the first is a class six card, right, correct? Right, right. They're, they're um, coming, well, it's a class six, eight gigabyte card, and uh, the Toshiba product is called Flash Air, and they were announcing it this week, the same time we announced the, the standard. And uh, as far as uh, price point, I know, or in terms of launching, I know it's it's far down the road still. We're not possibly going to see it until you had mentioned. Well, um, the standard usually takes about 12 months for people to, to, actually to start producing producer. and manufacturing the cards and bringing them to market. Uh, Toshiba has said that it will be um, in the United States probably Q2 and that it would be at a price point for this particular card under $70. And, no. uh, but other manufacturers will come along as well and they may present different sizes, speeds, and Toshiba may present different sizes. And speeds. Uh, I, I definitely hope so because uh, as we were discussing, this is something where, you know, I know professional photographers, home users alike, are looking for wireless solutions. And while there have been a host of them out there, they're far from perfect. And as we've been talking, clearly the SD Consortium has to be the leading partner here to take control of this entire situation and really set the standard. So it's good to see that Toshiba has been aggressive enough to take the lead. And uh, certainly exciting, I know, for any of the uh, amateur or professional photographers out there. Uh, anything else to add about the product? Um, I, it's important to note that it also has memory on, on the card as well. Um, you know, SD slot has been used in the past for other uh, uses, uh, including Wi-Fi, but this puts the card and the Wi-Fi together. Yeah. No. Okay. Appreciate your time, and thanks for showing us uh, what I think is certainly going to change the SD uh, industry without question. And can't wait to get one on my product, uh, in my cameras, of course, uh, for daily use. Forget also for professional use. So, thanks again for your time. Thank you.